Everyone, AD Gaming is here and finally the new update just arrived. A few minutes ago the update just landed and this is gonna be the... Uh, let's see what do we have on this update. 7.77 update here. The new Christmas event and I believe the Siren and the, and the Harpy is here. But let's see together what do we have. I'm on the uh, Warbots official page site you can say. So let's see what do we have. They, they said... The event, Christmas and New Year. The event will start soon after update 7.7 .7 lands on your platform. The event task chain will be available in the, in the operation interface. Okay, so we have new twin robots, Siren and RP. Most of you are familiar with them. We tested them on the test server. We have a new drone, Iron Heart, Special Edition, Crawl Orochi, Crawl Bane, Scavenger Shell, Scavenger Blaze, Paint Job, Moros Hawk, Bionic Typhoon. These are the things that, that I mentioned on the news video, in case you haven't seen it. Tap on the eye icon next to event chest to see its reward pool. Okay. So, also look out for the new pilots. Sister XC1771 and XC1772. Uh, Siren and Harpy. Marie Leclerc, the pilot for the Mender. Okay. So, we have it on this update. We have the tier system and price adjustments. Starting with this update, the item interface shows the tier of each item. So every robot will have his uh, specific tier. Tier 1, Tier 2, Tier 3, Tier 4, like uh, the drone, like the, you know, like the pilot. All items in the game are grouped into 4 tiers. From Grey Tier 1 to Golden Tier 4. Like I said, a tier explains how much power you can expect of a robot or a piece of equipment. Items also get more complex towards Tier 4. We have, we have explained the idea behind each tier in this article. We will check that later. Together with this visual feature, new prizes became available for lower tier equipment. We have reconsidered the value of each item based on how it performed in the current ecosystem of the game. This is what they said. As a result, most of the, the tier 2, tier 3 items now cost less both to acquire and upgrade. You will find the full list of price adjustments at the end of this article. We will check that at later, of course. Don't worry. So, also we have aiming tweaks. They probably, hopefully, this is gonna help to help target uh, to fix targeting system. In this update, we adjusted aiming angles for most of the robots in the game. We expect that we expect that these changes will eliminate two issues: lock on targets, selecting low priority targets on the flanks rather than focusing on the enemy in front. Okay. That's a familiar issue. Some robots being unable to return fire when attacked from above. Okay. In terms of horizontal aiming, the angle of sight became narrower. Your robot now ignores target to its sides and you have more direct control over the aiming process. You just need to face in the right direction. So this is what they said. This is how they fixed the aiming system. In terms of vertical aiming, we reduced the blind zone instead. It will be much easier now to aim at targets right above you and right be beneath you. This was an issue for most of the robots in the game. With the new aiming angles, all robots will have similar blind zones. So it sounds good, but I have to test it out by myself on the gameplay. So of course, we will see it in the future, in the real soon, uh, how it's gonna be in the gameplay. Note that we advise using lock on target option for better experience. You can en enable it in the vast section of the game settings. So, new robot Siren and RP. You see, most of them you know them. You, you, you know them. So, you, you can see them. This is the video. They released also a video about them. Ability Snowstorm, Firestorm. Siren and RP sets up a translocator, makes a jet jump, and hovers in the air. Secondary activation teleports robot to the translocator. While in the air, the robot can launch a powerful rocket that creates a zone that damages enemies and applies the freeze slash blast effect. So also they both have reflector shields. You can see it. I don't. I'm not gonna read it because we already said that in the test server. So all the pilot. I talked about them. You can see them. Experiment that backfired on the DSC military sisters XC 1771 1772 snatched two prototype robots right from right under the crew right noses. They now always fight together. Hit and run tactics are therefore. So 
It's basically the one pilot that just, uh, they said that it's sisters. They are fighting together. Sisterhood, Siren Arp gain invisibility upon landing and restore some durability when returning to the teleportation beacon. This is the special ability. Let's see the Mender pilot. Marie is a dauntless fighter and a talented engineer. After a technical genius helped her res succeed in rescuing her girlfriend, she never parts with her modified, modified men there. Everything can be fixed when Marie is around. Okay. Repair that Mender becomes capable of repairing greater structural damage, like the Demeter pilot, like I expected. The new drone, you can see it. As frozen heart, beautiful, powerful, dangerous, cold and hot. It can both cool and warm your robot when necessary. Iron heart is made of iron and looks like an iron. What an irony. <laughs> okay. <laughs> frozen out of iron heart when your robot is affected by freeze or blast. The effect is removed that the robot becomes immune to it. So basically it has uh, immunity to RP and siren abilities, we can say. Fujin rework. You can see they said that they changed the Fujin a little bit. We tested it on the test server, so yeah. Is this gonna help a little bit the Fujin? But it's not gonna be, in my opinion, the top robot in the game, obviously. Okay. Revenant starts adjustment. Okay. I smell a nerf. Revenant's durability upgrades were distributed incorrectly between the levels of this robot. We have adjusted the numbers so that Revenant's durability growth is streamlined with that of the other robots in the game. Overall durability remains the same. Okay, so it seems that it has a it had a bug in terms of the level. I saw some post in the community in Facebook and some other social media me and yeah, I I thought it might be a bug, so they said that they fixed it. But they said that uh, overall durability remains the same, so it, it had, we have the same durability. But let's say for uh, level two, you have less durability. This is how I can understand that. So back fixed. The image more get stuck. Oh, they fixed the more more mids back. Activating explosion at the start of jump rather than upon landing. So the Luchador had also had a bag. So you see the uh, the amount of bag we had during the before they released the update. So I would like to see what the uh, the tier systems. So the tier system, you can see how it looks like. This is the the site. I will give you the link in the description below if you would like to see it by by yourself. Okay. So, this is what they said about the tears. Tears were always a part of the game. We are now highlighting them with colors to help you sort out your upgrade strategies and make hangar building more intuitive overall. An items tier defines how complex and how strong it is. From gray tier 1 for beginners gear to golden tier 4 the end game. Okay. So this is will be especially useful to new players. So this is what they said about the uh, tiers. Concept behind each tier, you progress through the game by including more and more items of higher tier in your hand gear. Tier 1, the gray. The tier is for beginner, cheap items and very simple mechanics. Ideal for learning the ropes. Okay. So the Corsac, the Stoker and the Galahad, the Punisher, Magnum, ECU. They are the tier 1. Okay. Tier 2, the blue you see. The Kid, the Leo, the Griffin, the NC, Lorcan, Taran, the Raijin. Okay. Tier 3, the Arthur, the Hellburner. You can see it. The Chimera is tier 3, are you kidding me? <laughs> it's not a good weapon. Okay. If, if they say so. Tier 4, the Golden, the Demeter, the Luchador, the Shell, the Orochi. So the much better stuff, we can say. They are the tier 4, obviously. So... Tier 4 has more items than the previous two combined. So you see, if you would like to read it, I will give you the link to the site. Some components will disappear, okay? These items that you could only build with components will become available for direct purchase for gold. Comio, Hover, Lancelot, Exodus, and Ion. So these weapons and robots, they will be able to obtain... They will be obtainable for gold. Note, if you have started building one of these five items, you have until January 24 to complete it. Okay, so uh, if you are building them, you have time. 
Okay, once they change for the, this five, so they keep talking about the items. Price adjustments. We reconsider prices and gold for a bunch of robots and weapons based on their performance. For some of these items, this also means a change in upgrade costs. These changes go online together with tier visual in 7.7. 7. 7. Price reduced. So the price of the Rogatka, the Gepard, the Trident, the Afi, the Gecko, they reduce the prices of them. So yeah, I, that's, that's awesome in my opinion that they are reducing the prices a little bit. They need to do it more in my opinion. So the Raijin, it drastically reduced the price by almost by half. Not really half, but almost. You can see the Carnage, the Rhino. So all the low tier robots, you can see tier two. So let's see the tier three. Old price, you can see. So yeah, they drastically, drastically reduced the prices. You can see it. So, of course, guys, if you can see the list, this list in the site, I will give you the link in the description below. You will be able to see it if you'd like to go through the list because I'm not going to read each and every one of them. You see the tier 4. Okay. So, also the modules, they reduced the prices of the modules. Price increased. Item. Our queen. Our queen. Orkan. Okay. So, and they increased the price of the Orkan? Are you kidding me? <laughs> they increase the price of the Orkan and the Owl Chain. The Orkan is not a good weapon. Why you should... Uh, uh, I don't know. I, I don't get it. I do not understand this decision. Invader. They uh, increase the price as well. I can I can understand the Invader is a strong robot. The Butch as well. Oh, wait a minute. Now available for AG. So the Butch and the Galahad and the Arbalest. They will be... Available for silver, if I get it right. So the Pooch, Galahad, and Arbalest, you can get them for silver. Now only available for AU. So the Fujin also will be available for gold? Are you kidding me? Wow, that's a... I don't know what to tell you about this. I don't know what to tell you about this. So, okay, now available for purchase. The Jaeger. You can see, oh, so this, the Jaeger, you can get it for gold right now. And also the new machine, the energy machine guns, the Gauss, Weber, Volt, and Hornet, you can get them for gold. Upgrade cost reduced. Also the Noricom. Oh, so they lower down the, the upgrade cost as well for some, so, so, for some weapons and uh, robots, you can see. This is the list. So I see the Nemesis, the Bulwark is here. There are good robots, the Scourge, the Igniter, the Ember. Okay, so that's a good change. That's a good change. Finally, so upgrade cost increase the Magnum and the Fujin. Why they are keep increasing the prices for the Fujin? I don't get it. <laughs> so this is what we have. We this is a big update. This is a big. We have a big changes, guys. So this is just. I wanted to release this video as soon as possible to bring it to you and to talk about it a little bit. The gameplay and all the new stuff. I will showcase them. Of course, all the, the siren and the RP and all the new, the new pilots, the new stuff, I will showcase to you as soon as I will have them. And also on, on Sunday, I will show, I will do a live stream. So be sure to stay to tune in to my live stream. This is gonna be after the update uh, gameplay after the update. So today there won't be a gameplay, but like I said on Sunday, there is gonna be a live stream. I will play. Uh, the gameplay after the update so stay tuned for that and if you like the content smash the like subscribe click the bell icon and join the discord server our discord server if you'd like to stay updated and stay in touch in regards to horror robots everything okay and until next time have a good day slash night